With version 5.14, Zoom has brought to us a series of improvements that we've been waiting for a long time. Last week, I just ran a Zoom meeting with 300 participants, and I would have loved to have these features available. Yes, because some of them are really useful, especially for large meetings. The first thing to do, as usual, is to make sure you're running the latest Zoom version. Zoom is telling me that version 5.14 is now available, so click on Install, and in a matter of seconds, you'll have the newest Zoom version. So these are my top five new Zoom meeting features. Actually, there were six, but one I was not able to test. More about it later. Feature number five, raise hand enhancements. I'm now testing this new version on a MacBook Pro. So let me open a new Zoom meeting and connect from three other devices. Here I'm waving from my MacBook Pro. Here from a PC running an older version of Zoom. Here from an iPhone 13. And here from an iPhone 11. Zoom has brought some improvements to the visibility of participants that have raised their hand. So now I'm raising hand from the PC. Automatically the PC participant is put at the top left corner so it gets more visibility but this was already available now a new notification appears for those who have raised the hand and this allows you to click on it and directly access the participants panel where for example you can request them to unmute to ask their question now if I raise hand on my iPhone 13 my video will be moved up in the sequence right after the participant who has already raised the hand before me feature number four Show participant names in Immersive View. The first small but important new feature in Immersive View is that now participants' names are displayed in Immersive View too. So say you're facilitating a meeting and you're organizing a panel discussion, and maybe you don't know your speakers very well. It can really save you to see the panelists' name. So let me choose an Immersive View, where only four participants, so let me pick this one. And now when I hover over the participants, the names will display. If I move my mouse, the names will disappear. Feature number three. Screen sharing layouts for Immersive View. This one is instead a big improvement for Immersive View. Before, if you were in Immersive View and then someone wanted to screen share, then the screen share would cause the Immersive View to stop and you would return to the usual screen share with Gallery View. Now instead, while screen sharing, you'll have a modified version of the Immersive View. Let's go try it. I'm the host on the Mac and now from the PC participant, I'm sharing screen. You now see that the Immersive View shifts to the bottom. The Mac participant who is on the latest Zoom version has the background removed. But as for some reason, the background removal doesn't work for the mobile participants nor for the PC participant who's on an older Zoom version. Background removal actually worked for all in the immersive view. So this may be a bug of this newer version that needs to be fixed. But besides this little detail, I think this is really useful. Basically, you can run a panel discussion while sharing screen or presenting slides or sharing a whiteboard. Super useful. Feature number two and 2A. This was really a must. Retain chat messages from breakout rooms. This new feature fixes something that we've all been frustrated about for ages. I'm sure you too have experienced the situation where you were in the main room, where you had some important messages in the main meeting chat. Then you were asked to join a breakout room and main room chat disappeared. And the same when going back from the breakout room to the main room, then the chat messages that you had available in the breakout room were not available anymore in the main room. Well, good news, now this is fixed. So everyone is now in the main room. And as a host, I write a chat message. I'll make it clear that I'm writing it from the main room. Now I create one breakout room and send there all participants. As a host, I will also join the breakout room. And now if I open the chat, the message that I wrote in the main room still appears in the breakout room. Now that I am in the breakout room, I'll write a chat message here. Let me leave the breakout room and go back to the main one I'll open the chat and now the chat history of the breakout room where I've been still shows in my chat again super useful now let's assume we have three breakout rooms and I first go to breakout room one then two then three which chat messages will I be able to see I haven't tested this complex scenario yet but what I think is that probably I will be able to see the chat messages from the breakout rooms that happened when I was in the breakout room. In other words, all chat messages that were exchanged in a breakout room when I was not there will not show in my chat history. That's at least my assumption, but please test it and let me know in the comments below whether I was right or not. 
the feature I was not able to test out has to do again with the chat. Chat failover recovery support for the new meeting chat experience. The new chat feature I was not able to test is actually a recovery one. Zoom says that in case of an unexpected crash, when I'm back in the meeting, I will be able to retrieve the chat history. Now, I didn't want to force a crash, so I can't assure that this feature works, but I assume so. What actually I was hoping to see is to be able to retrieve the chat history if I left the meeting for some time and then joined it back. I tried it, but this doesn't work. And to be fair, Zoom never said that this was possible. And my top new Zoom meeting feature is additional gallery view sorting options. If you're finding this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel so you will help me keep producing good content for you. Thank you. How many times you found yourself in a Zoom meeting and you were wondering who is online? So you started looking at all the videos and then you were missing someone and it was a mess. Now it's possible to sort participants in gallery view. It's really practical. This feature needs to be turned on in your web client. In settings, go to advanced and here make sure that sort gallery view is active. Since I've activated it right now, I had to close the existing Zoom meeting and open a new one. Now go to the top and click on view and you'll see a new option saying sort gallery by. You can sort participants by first name, ascending or descending, last name, and also very useful meeting entry time, ascending or descending. So no more time wasted saying, uh, let me see who's online. Did you know that you can create breakout rooms automatically and directly from poll results? Well, then you should check this video.